Yeah, it's been a long time since I last did a gaming video. Apologies for that. So all I can say is that personal life kind of got in the way for a bit. So YouTuber's Life 2 was released in 2021. And it was a much anticipated release by gamers who were familiar with the prequel of the game. The game is essentially a stimulation game which revolves around a character, aka you, becoming a YouTuber and moving to a new city that is full of YouTubers and aiming to be the top YouTuber in YouTube city. The prequel of the game was released in 2016 and while I enjoyed it enough, it just doesn't really seem all that fun as it essentially involves you sitting around your mother's house or an apartment of your own and making videos. The only times you leave is to attend events. And while you can take part-time jobs or even go to school, you never actually see it. Thankfully, YouTuber's life will fix a lot of the parts that I felt could have been better. It has a very open world concept and mainly revolves you running around the city to explore and even the befriend the people whom you meet. There are a ton of quirky people whom you can meet in YouTube city, like Blair who runs the Player One store that is essentially where you go to buy new games, a shop that will mainly be where you'll be going to most of the time. As you progress the game, however, you will get apps on your phone like Insta Live, which is essentially the game's version of Instagram and even Glitch that is their version of Twitch. They tend to play around a lot of the names that we're familiar with, but not totally copying it, probably due to copyright purposes. <laughs> anyway, at the start of the game, you get a cute little drone that follows you around and which helps you to take photos and videos and even stream videos as you progress. At the start, what you can do with the drone is very limited, with the drone only having space to store 3 videos. You can, however, upgrade your drone at Earthhack, which is a shop located in the uptown area run by this scientist guy. Video recordings generally involves you picking several game cards, and the purpose is to fill as many phases to max as possible. Streaming sessions, however, is kind of a game of clicking the right directional arrows at the right time. You, however, lose viewers if you miss a step or click the wrong arrow. Streaming sessions are useful in the beginning of the game when you're low on money and trying to build up subscribers. At some point, however, you can upgrade your PC to get better quality videos and even to expand your house. Adam Elite Point, which is just next to player one, sells the necessary stuff you need to upgrade your PC. The really good parts are, however, really expensive, so I'll recommend actually holding off on it until you're really rolling in the door, which won't happen until you're at least at the silver rank. PC parts, however, can wear down and break over time, so lead point will likely be a place you'll be frequenting quite a bit. At some point, you will likely be unable to fit anything in your house, so you'll definitely need to expand it. By summer 1, you'll get a call from Xavier to head to City Hall to expand your house. After the first expansion, you can actually expand more of your house to be able to fit in more workstations like the auto editing station and even stations to improve your audio quality and even the unboxing station. City Hall is also where you go to get a license to be able to ride a scooter around town which is faster than walking. The test to get a scooter license costs about 100 gold and lasts you about a year which is definitely worth it though I honestly prefer riding a scooter and using the subways to get to the different districts. As you record videos and edit videos, however, it can impact your energy a lot. In early game, you'll likely be sleeping at 7pm after editing and uploading a video, since you'll be saving your dough for better upgrades. Once you start earning, however, do buy food from Suzy's and Spicy Ranch, or even from AFK Bar and keep some in your bag. A good way to earn money in early game is by taking commissions. Not only do you get paid, you also get to build up your relationship with the requester. This game actually allows you to date and get married. Befriend people by giving them their favourite gifts. Though you are restricted to only 2 gifts per week, you can also raise their friendship level by talking to them or even taking a photo with them. Once you reach the 6 heart limit, you can flirt and date them and even give them a set of house keys to have them move in with you, with an additional room added to your house. Personally, however, I never actually saw Adam in my house since he moved in. Also, you can actually get to meet real-life YouTubers in this game and they are involved in a lot of the story quests. Though those story quests are equal parts amusing and unbelievable. Your phone apps will likely be your lifesaver in early game, especially the map. 
If you hover over each point in the map, they will also tell you the opening hours of each shop. The contacts app will have a list of all those whom you've met and also their likes and favourites if you figure out what they like. As you progress, you will be able to purchase items through your phone app even during the shop's closing hours, though you only receive those items the next day. Unlike YouTubers Live, YouTubers Live too actually offers more customizations to your house and even your wardrobe. There is also more to exploring the town than just making friends and finding a potential other. You can make changes to your higher style and even buying new clothes. Increasing your number of views and subscribers is as easy as making videos according to the popular trends of the day. You can see the trends by just bringing up your phone. The popular trends of the day is coloured in dark red and orange, so make videos that have those trends if at all possible. I played this game on the Switch console, though this game is also available for PS4 and even Steam. The Switch version isn't without its own bugs however, as it has frequent crashes and bugs and the loading times take a hell of a time and not to mention it's laggy as well. Six and a half hours later. Yep, still loading. A quick fix it I find for the Switch version is not to take more than 3 photos per day anymore and I find that it generally crushes the game. Overall, YouTubers Live 2 is one of the best simulation games out there and I do enjoy it a lot. If you ever wanted to become a YouTuber in real life, this game is one where you can achieve your dreams. If you like this video, do subscribe and follow me and I'll appreciate it if you can visit my Buy Me A Coffee page to show your support. See you in the next video and here's to a great 2022!